Hi friends, it's Jamie and I'm here at Indian Creek Zoo in Lambertville, Michigan. And today we're learning about giraffes. They're a super tall animal, of course you know that, but we're gonna talk to Joe Garvick today. He's the owner of Indian Creek Zoo. He's the one that had the dream to build this zoo. We're gonna go inside the giraffe barn where the giraffes are housed in the winter and we're going to meet the giraffes. We're gonna meet a very special friend, which is Puzzles. He's one of my favorite giraffes ever. And we're gonna talk with Joe and learn a little bit today about giraffes. So come on inside the barn and let's meet everyone. We are inside the giraffe barn right here in Lambertville, Michigan at Indian Creek Zoo. We're here with the owner, Joe Garber, here in the giraffe barn where all these giraffes are housed in the winter. And what's really awesome is you can do giraffe experiences, but I'm gonna tell you about that in just a little bit. So let's talk to Joe first and learn some fun facts about giraffes. Hey Joe. How are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good. You must be good. You have awesome giraffes in here, and I heard this one's name is Puzzles. This is, this is Puzzles. This is our first giraffe. And uh, Puzzles is five years old. He's a little over 16 feet tall and he'll probably be roughly about 18 feet. The tallest one I've known in captivity is over 20 foot. So he's gonna walk over here, you can actually see how big he really is. <laughs> so, Puzzles is uh, quite the character. He's gonna know. So, is Puzzles going to slobber on me? That's uh, what I he, he might. This is a very special one. He came from Missoula in uh, Wisconsin from Market House Show. And he was uh, very proud of our first draft. And, uh, I've been in the draft business for years and uh, so fortunate they sold us this one. And uh, there's three of them here. You got Sudoku next to him over there. And you got Paskey. Paskey come from a uh, zoo up in Michigan. And uh, Wild Animal Park, Bolton Ridge, and uh, another great, great specimen. So wow. you can see him looking out the window. The bottom of that window is 13 foot six. And uh, you know, they're going to need a window cleaner after he's done with his time. <laughs> Know that giraffes are the tallest animal that there is. So that fact we know, kids know that. But I heard they have more than one stomach. Is that true? Yeah, they're ruminant. And uh, they chew their food, and cows are ruminant and uh, chew them like a cud. Okay. And are all giraffes unique in the way of having different, I want to say artwork on their body, but it's fine. Yeah, they do. It's uh, same with zebras. And uh, the young can tell. Uh, who's mom, and uh, it's really unique, and uh, it's kind of crazy a little bit about giraffes if you don't realize it. You know, the tallest land animal, but uh, they actually have horns when they're born, and all other animals grow the horns afterwards just because of the birth canal and that. It's the only uh, one that has skin on top of the horns, so it's just a, it's a unique animal. Their uh, the heart weighs 35 pounds, they have seven vertebrae just like a human does, except theirs are humongous and uh, really neat creatures. They have to spread their legs to drink. So the males are really vulnerable in the wild because they're not a herd animal. The males are alone and the moms and babies, so there's a lot of different eyes looking at them. So it's really neat to see uh, one up close like this. And uh, the, in the last 20 years, the number of giraffes drastically dropped from about 150,000 to about 97,000. And you're trying to figure that out. It's not all habitat, um, what's going on. And that's why, you know, zoos are so important for the conservation and the money and giving back. And uh, people don't realize, uh, this is kind of a neat fact about deer. In the early 1900s in the state of Michigan, there was less than 200,000 deer. Through management and hunting and different things, it's only two weeks a year, there's 1.2 million now. So, you know, it's just, it really, really helps everything going on. And Puzzles likes giving kisses. Did you guys see that? Okay, so something that I've learned about Puzzles in my time here is that his tongue is super long and it twists to grab the carrots. Something really exciting that gets that happens here at the zoo is families get to come out and experience fun at the zoo. And during the winter, they get to do encounters. Hey, we got one of our keepers over here. Come on over here for a second. <laughs> Introduce yourself and tell us what you do here in the draft barn. This is the people that make the zoo work. Um, Come on in, slide in. Hi, I'm Erin. I'm one of the keepers here. I work with the large mammals, so I work with the giraffes. Definitely the largest mammal, the tallest at least, right? Yeah. And I would imagine the heaviest. So can you tell us what one of your favorite things about giraffes are? 
Um, I puzzles is my favorite here. Um, one of the things I like about puzzles is I just like how gentle he is, and I feel like he's just like a very personal giraffe. So that's one of the things that I like, and of course their one songs are pretty cool. So, <laughs> so I've seen puzzles read Karis, and when you do a giraffe experience out here, you actually get to feed the giraffes carrots. And something that I thought was super fun is how they twist their tongue around that carrot and pull it into their mouth. <laughs> so I have a question, and a lot of kids have asked me this. Do giraffes have teeth on both the top and the bottom of their mouth? And how many teeth do they have? Do they have the same as us? So in the front, they only have teeth on the bottom. Um, and then they have their full molars and like the very back of their mouth. I'm not sure how many teeth they have. Okay. So they don't have teeth on the top and the front. So they might chew a little bit different than you and I do. So that's kind of a little fun fact that we learned today and we appreciate that yeah. so much. Uh, but when you experience the giraffe out here, you actually get to feed them those carrots. You get to pet puzzles because he is so personable like you mentioned. He is the sweetest. So Joe, is there anything else that you would like us to know about your friend Puzzles and, and his friends? Yeah, these guys are uh, pretty neat and talk a little bit about the tongue. 18 inches long and it's black or purple so it doesn't get sunburned all day out in, out in the African plains they're eating. But when he sticks it all the way out, it's pink in the back. So it's a just amazing creature and uh, <laughs> And he's here playing, he's one of my buddies. So. I think he knows who Dad is. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's your baby. Now, was Puzzles bottle fed? He was. He was bottle fed. Yeah, okay. this, this came from Wisconsin. I saw, said before from Mark and Alex Schobel up there at Tim Bravani, and uh, he was very, very special to them, and uh, we were lucky enough for them to sell him to us. So <laughs> you can see he's. Uh, he's, he's I don't know if he knows he's a giraffe, to be honest. Right. Well, he's a sweetheart, and I know a lot of families really get to enjoy Puzzles and his friends here at Indian Creek Zoo. And one thing that you can do is go online to IndianCreekZoo.com. You can look under the visit area, and you can see how you can have your own giraffe experience with your family. This is something so fun to do all year long. But you, even when we're closed to the public in the winter, we are open for these encounters, and it's something so memorable. You can feed them, pet them, and photograph them, which is one of my very favorite things to do. We love our zookeepers. You'll have a zookeeper with you to answer all of your questions about giraffe. They know so much about them, and they bring so much joy to the community. So we hope you have enjoyed your time with the giraffes here, and that you learned a few fun facts about them. And you can always go to our website, to learn about how you can experience this yourself. Joe, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you. We appreciate the facts, and thanks for tuning in, and tune in next time um, to see some more species.